guys hello welcome to a new vlog it's been a rough couple of days honestly and i try and be super raw and unfiltered with you guys i think it's really important but also i try and keep my space a really positive and happy environment and so i was kind of debating filming this because i just don't want it to be like a negative video but i think that this is real life and everyone goes through slumps and ruts and yeah it's just life but i feel like i've been in a slump all week and you know now that it's the end of the week i've let myself like feel my emotions and it's time to snap out of it and get back on track i feel like i know exactly why i'm in a rut like i'm very aware of it it's been super cold and my seasonal depression hasn't been that bad this year because i've truly tried to just like have a positive outlook on it and I can do the cold, I can do the snow, but it's been really windy and icy this week. So my whole routine is thrown out of whack because I haven't been able to take Stella for a walk, to go to the dog park, get any like vitamin D, get any sunshine. Like it's been really quick walks around the block because it's been so icy outside. So I feel like that's kind of the biggest reason why I'm out of routine. I'm just not getting any vitamin D naturally right now. So... I am just ready to get back into a routine. The gyms are open and I've been like struggling a lot to get back into a good workout routine. So I think that has to do with it too. And along with the weather, you know, having chronic migraines, it's been a bad week for that too because the weather this time of year just like fluctuates a lot between like kind of cold and super cold and like stormy and stuff. So I've had a few pretty bad migraines this week and I'm just like very brain foggy. So... I'm just being real with you guys life's not always sunshine and rainbows but that's as negative as this video is gonna get because today we're gonna do all the things to get myself out of a rut and out of a slump and like I say in every video what works for me might not work for you but I'm gonna take you guys along on my day and kind of show you guys all the little things that make me happy and the first thing that makes me happy is pjs but not matching sets i don't know these are like nine dollar walmart pjs and this to me just waking up in like comfy pjs brings me so much happiness you guys I already know i'm not like a big journaler but i did give myself some journal prompts and i kind of started it last night but i want to finish it off today and so the three like prompts i gave myself were why am, why am i in a rut how can i overcome this and what are some goals to work towards um so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up my journal and i'm hoping like starting my day like this starts it off on a really good note done my journaling for the day like i said i'm not a big journaler but this actually does help like write it out and kind of acknowledge my emotions and then we can kind of close this chapter other thing i will do is i'm gonna try and stay off of my phone so um i have a bunch of different like settings so i have a work one which like lets work stuff come through and then i have like a morning one and a me time so i'm gonna put on my morning mood kind of try and stay off my phone for the majority of the morning at least let's go downstairs ourselves a really beautiful coffee at home doesn't that look so nice really cute dog who also helps me get out of a slump because she is so cute because you was so cute said one she's getting so brown i love you do you love me boop so we're gonna we're gonna do a morning workout which you guys know i'm not a morning workout person but i feel like if i don't do it now and get into the habit of it i'm not gonna do it now i just need to figure out what i want to wear um Maybe I'll wear my new sports bra. So boring. <laughs> the black leggings. No, I'm not a morning workout person at all. But I thought maybe if I just like got ready, got some endorphins in me, that I would feel better. You know, like if I just got the workout in. I mean, it's not early morning. It's like 10 o'clock. I let myself sleep in, but you know. I When I say morning workout person, I feel like I mean I'm not like a 6 a.m. workout gal. It's just not me. It's never gonna be me. Every time I book a 6 a.m. workout class, I cancel it. Freaking heavy. Alright. I see you. Let's go. Together we go far. Pretty strong. I just ended up doing this 20 minute glute and legs. My legs are like literally shaking, and then I did a 10 minute bar class, and I feel really, really good and strong. Alright, guys. 
I feel so good. It just like goes to show that you don't need to do much, you know, to get going and feel good. It was like a 25 minute workout, a medium protein bar. And I'm gonna get ready for the day now because that also makes me feel so good and go for a walk and like all that stuff and just like get my body moving and stop being stagnant. So on my outfit today are in movement. And then this is, I don't remember what it's called, it's new. And I really like it. Look at the back. It's so cute. I'm eating a Simply Protein Bar and chocolate coconut. I'm gonna go get ready for the day and like get dressed, maybe put some jeans on. And yeah, here's to getting out of a rut. Yay. Uh, I'll show you guys my little five minute makeup, if you're wondering. Okay, super obsessed with this tinted moisturizer. And then I mix it with these Lumi Drops from L'Oreal for like a nice glow. Elf Halo Glow setting powder. Just around where I wear a mask. Is this Rimmel Maxi Blush. We're just drugstore gals around here in the color third base. Marshalls. <laughs> BH Cosmetics. Yeah, got it at Marshalls on clearance. Pretty great. Um, I didn't do my eyebrows today. I was too lazy. And then you guys know my mascara is the... L'Oreal Air Volume dupe. I decided if I want to do my hair today or not. I kind of wanted to leave it in the ponytail. I thought it looked kind of cute. But tonight, for bed with my one step, so. And I also, I mean, if Arian's watching this, I didn't. But I had to trim my curtain bangs again. Because they're getting to be a really awkward length. And I don't have a hair appointment for like another three weeks. So. Also, I couldn't figure out why my roots have been growing out so quick, and I think it's because I've been taking collagen so much. So I think I have to switch my hair appointments from every six months to every three months. But anyways, I might have to fix my blow. No, I don't think I do. My old navy hoops. I'm going to go put an outfit on. Yay! Hey guys, so I got some work done. I'm feeling pretty good. I decided to make my favorite breakfast in the world, which I actually don't think you guys know, but anytime I go anywhere, like... Uh, I think I actually said this in my Selfish Sunday video, but I made myself a BLT with turkey bacon. And we're going to do some baking after, mainly because I have to bake for book club, but baking makes me really happy. I'm going to blast some music and just like have a fun time. I'm making some brookies, which I'm so excited about. Here, I'll, sh I'll show you guys the box. Easy, so I'm not making it, but I didn't even know that you could buy this and it looked so yummy and fun. So I'm going to make that for book club after and yeah, but I'm going to enjoy my BLT a little fancy lemon mint cucumber water and I'm feeling good Look how yummy this is it turned out so good I had like a little piece just to make sure it was like cooked and yummy but my rookie is a success I think next time I might try and do like a whole top layer so it's like more of a bar but baking makes me happy I wasn't gonna go out today but then I forgot I have a Poshmark order and I got the notification that was like please send out your package and I was like fine so, um, tomorrow's gonna be like my errand running day. Um, I mean, to you guys, it seems like I leave the house a lot, but I haven't left the house in like the whole week because I've just been seasonally depressed and not doing good. So, I have like donations to drop off. I have more Poshmark orders. Matt's printing those labels stay at work because we don't have a printer. And I'm gonna do all that stuff tomorrow. I have to look for like pantry organizers. And yeah, I don't know. When I'm feeling like frazzled and I need to get back into it, organizing the house makes me really happy. So, I'm gonna do some of that tomorrow. And yeah, but I have to go to the grocery store near us because I have to drop off this Poshmark order and now I'm out of, what are those called? Like the little um, mailers. So I get mine at the dollar store because they're like a dollar or something for like five or six. So while I'm right there, I'm just gonna grab some mailers as well. And it's kind of nice to like get out of the house and I'm gonna play some Taylor Swift probably or like some country music. Um, and it is like nice to get out of the house. It does feel really good. So that's what I'm doing right now. But hey, I personally like having playlists based on my mood, so when I need to cheer up. I'm listening to this Screaming in the Car Taylor best playlist. A car haul for you, why not? Okay, I got wine because I don't know the book club etiquette. Do I bring wine? Do I bring one bottle? So I got a big bottle because I, I just wasn't sure. And I decided since obviously the brookies are for book club that I wanted to like have something for Matt and I to make this weekend. Just, I don't know, to have something to look forward to. So I saw these, they're limited edition Pillsbury cinnamon rolls and they're strawberry icing. I don't know how they're going to be, but I just thought they'd be kind of fun. They were on sale on clearance because Valentine's Day is over. And then at the dollar store, like I said, I just got padded envelopes. I got one of these Tupperwares. It was like $2 because I don't have anything to transport goods in, like baked goods, whenever we go to family stuff. So I got one of these. 
and I was really craving a Gatorade. It sounded so good at the checkout. So I got myself one because this $1.50 I just spent is going to bring me a lot of joy. So I got myself a Gatorade, okay? You do what you got to do when you're in a slump. So that's what I got. And now I'm going to head home. And like I said, tomorrow on day two of this, we'll have like our fun little like get organized, run the rest of our errands, be productive galleys. Um, but for today, that's all I can manage. I also got gum to keep in my car. So hope you enjoyed that super miscellaneous haul of mine. Let's go home. If you guys are new here, I show my affection to Matt by like surprising him with stuff. It's like my love language. My mom growing up always surprised us with little things. And I was just always taught that like you live for the little moments. You don't wait for holidays and stuff. So anyways, I love surprising Matt. You know, he supports me so much in what I do. And there's like things he would never buy for himself that like I want to. Just because I love him. He supports me. And we're in this journey together. So anyways, when I was out earlier, it was to pick up, the whole reason mainly I went out was because someone was selling a box set of the Dune books. Um, I guess they had bought it for their boyfriend for their birthday and like unwrapped it and took off the tag and everything. And then I guess her boyfriend like got one. So she had a second one and she couldn't return it. So she was selling it and it's new, like $140 and I got it for like, I think I paid 80 for it. So Matt has been eyeing the dune box set for so long when we were at indigo last weekend i was buying a book to bring to the cottage and i was like why don't you get yourself a book he's like no 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 it's okay like i don't i don't want to and he was always like i would love these books but i'm not gonna buy them for myself so i surprised him they're so beautiful first of all look and yeah so i'm from work in like five minutes and i'm gonna surprise him and I, it's just gonna cheer me up so much i love surprising him i'm in our bedroom because there's nowhere that Matt could walk into the living room and not see it, like, before I get to surprise him. See how long it takes me to notice it. I didn't buy anything. <laughs> I'm so bad. What's different about our room? You bought the Dune collection. I got a Facebook marketplace for you. Huh? Really? Yeah. What? Nobody has so it on I'm, Facebook marketplace. Yeah, I had the alerts on. No way, how much? 75. Instead of... A girl is... Mmm. <laughs> No, don't weeks. lick my book. Sarah, what do you think? No, don't. You just licked it again. You're looking nice. Thank you. You're looking sharp. Look at that beautiful there. The cover. Wow, no freaking way. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. They're not as big as I. I guess they're just really complex. That's why. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. It's currently like 10 something. I got home from book club so late last night. It was like 11 o'clock. It was so much fun though. I feel like socializing definitely helped me kind of feel a bit better. But it's a very snowy day as you guys saw. And I'm obviously just chilling. And yeah, I've literally spent the morning watching YouTube videos and reading. And I feel so good. I feel like for me, one of the biggest ways for me to get out of a rut is... I don't even think I said this at the beginning. But I think it's so important to like feel your emotions the first like day or two. Like... Get those emotions out don't keep it all in and then move on you know what i mean and i'm like at the point now where i'm like okay gotta move on you know so i feel like the weather does not help today because hashtag seasonal depression but we're gonna make the most of it and i think my plan for today is to just be productive i was gonna make this a whole separate video but i think for me especially getting out of like a rut one of the biggest things is like getting those errands done getting shit done anyways i don't want to do anything like i obviously work because i have to work but i don't like run errands or do anything so today is the day we're gonna get out of the house and you know obviously everyone's different um but i am reading this is my current read the hunting wives by may cobb um i just loved the cover um and uh yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. So I'm gonna edit for a little bit this morning and then we're gonna go, I have to go drop off a Poshmark order. I have to go do two returns at the mall, which I need to just get done and over with. Like, I just need to do it. I need to plan my videos up for next week. Um, I think I might do some organizing today. Um, organizing the house always makes me feel so much better. So when I was at the grocery store the other day, they had like those nice like sealable containers on clearance. So I'm going to go back and see if they have any because I think Matt and I need to like get some. We were saying that we need to get some like actual good like airtight organizers. So I might do that today. 
and just like organized because I feel like having like a unorganized house gives me a lot of anxiety so we're gonna do that and I did book a workout class today Hi. anyways I booked a workout class for four and I'm not canceling it mommy's gonna go to the workout okay I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go to the workout okay you say mom go to the workout class anyways that's our morning hello from Stella and I hi guys it's two o'clock uh I went to run errands when to bring you guys with me and realized I didn't put a battery in my camera. So it was just my sign from the universe to just like enjoy my time. And so I did. I ran some errands. Now I'm home eating a protein bar. Um, and I went out because I wanted to get storage containers because growing up, I don't know if you guys were like this, but as, but as a kid, if I was like stressed or I just like needed change, I would always reorganize my room. Um, and easier said than done now when you're an adult and your furniture is heavy. And also if you're like us and you have a closed concept townhouse, there's not really many um, varieties that you can do with your furniture. My neighbor is shoveling and I hope he doesn't look over and watch me vlogging. Please don't look at me, please, please. Um, so the next best thing is organizing and something I haven't done since we moved in is organize our pantries because I'm like, we're just going to redo the kitchen. It's fine. But every time I open my pantry, I get so much anxiety. So pretty organized, like as it's as, it's as organized as can be with like the dollar store containers I have, but a lot of this stuff would just need to be in like better containers, you know, like she's just a little chaotic. So I got a ton of these containers, all different sizes. They were all $5.99 and I'm going to wash them super quick and then I'm going to organize and it's going to be a fun time. I think that we need to start by taking everything out, which is a lot, but I think that's just how we have to start. Also, I hope you guys enjoy this angle because it's just trash. Also, can you talk about how I'm running low on pods and they haven't shipped yet? I'm really pissed, but I'm going to take everything out and we're going to organize this bad boy. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Oh, they will. Amazing. I can put math cereal in here. Also, I'm done with these. I'm just done with these fucking ugly marble things from the 80s. I just don't care. Woo! I've been wanting math cereal to be in a nicer container for literally ever. Okay, how are we going to do this? Though? This is going to take so long. And I don't think I have the camera battery for this. So, I'll, I'll be back in a sec. I want aesthetic. I'll give you guys the aesthetics. deep clean of the kitchen it feels so so good now i'm just waiting for nespresso pods to show up are you ready look how good it looks oh my god it's so nice and organized these are amazing i don't need more actually we have too many we have three extras which is totally fine but those are kind of like the things we reach for snack wise i put some extra greens in here bars and then like you know that's like tea and miscellaneous stuff oh it feels so good and then up here, I put all of our drinks together because we had our pop in the little pantry. It didn't make sense because we have like wine and stuff in here. And the lunch bags go there. And then over here, I just put all of our baking stuff. We already had those containers. Um, what else? And then I just tried to organize in here as much as I could. Um, so I just have like stuff that we'll refill the containers with, like granola, collagen stuff. And then this is like all of our protein all of our like healthy stuff, spices, and then this is like all of our bottles, our hydro drugs usually go here. And then yeah, I have a few extra left, but feels good. I've got some espresso things to drop off. I have this stuff to give back to my mom. It just feels so good, I feel so productive. Some Amazon packages, so let's open those. It's gonna make me so happy because my pop socket somehow broke off of my Kindle and reading without a pop socket on your Kindle sucks. 
So I just got this one. And like, look how cute it is. It's like a little cheetah. So my mood instantly better. And this, so, well, not like overly fun, but I got pens for work. Um, you guys, it's here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Ugh. Her books are so, like, so beautiful. Look at, like, the chapters. They're so gorgeous. Anyways, I am so excited about this. This earlier, but I ended up getting flowers because I just think flowers make everything better, you know? And I haven't had flowers in so long. So I bought myself flowers, and I'm really happy about it. So maybe we can just make this look cute with the flowers. There we go. That's so cute. I'm obviously out. Don't mind it. But... This looks kind of cute for now. I got my flowers, I've got the coasters, and then I have this little candle. This is from Circle and Wick. I'm like obsessed with their candles. This looks very cute, honestly. I might just do this and not the little tray thing. 3039. Matt has never had Eastside Mario's before. And I know you guys are thinking, like, Carter, that's literally so freaking lame. But it's not. I don't know if you guys know, my mom has like a full-time job, but my mom has been bartending at Eastside Mario's since I was like a baby. And she's always had like a full-time job, but she's like never quit. She just does it like a few nights a week, you know? That's where I get it from my work ethic. I get it from my mom. <laughs> Anyways, my mom's at work. My dad's going out to the cottage with the kids. And so my mom was like, can you feed the dogs tonight? And I was like, of course I can. So I called Matt and was like, hey, we're going to go feed Fred and Gunner tonight. And then he was like, do you want to go see your mom at East Sides? And I was like, of course, because growing up in university, I would park my car at the mall where the East Sides was. And I'd obviously go to class. And then I would like visit my mom all the time. And come to think of it, I haven't visited my mom at work in so long. Just because like, obviously we're in the East End now. So I was like, Matt, we should go have a date night at Eastside Mario's. And he's like, I've never even eaten at Eastside Mario's. And I was like, she's got bloody life. And I was like, Matt, are you serious? And he's like, is it expensive? I was like, no. So anyways, long story short, Matt and I are going to have a little date night tonight, which is so exciting because we don't really go out to eat in the winter. We don't really like to, which is ironic because we're doing it tonight, but it's because we're going out for like a cheap dinner. But yeah, we never really go out for dinner, to be quite honest. Um just not a thing but I thought since I was kind of been in like a mood lately it'd be fun to have a little date night so we're gonna do that and it's gonna be so fun and I want to keep you guys posted but today I feel like I haven't vlogged as much but it's because I've been getting so much shit done around the house like the house is finally back together but anyways I'm gonna put my pop socket on my kindle this one is so nice it's gonna look so good my other one was cute because it was Elsa but it was like a little too much okay you have to do the thing where like if you're holding your kindle like, you have to do this. This is how you figure out where to put it. You pop the pop socket out, like, and then you kind of, like, figure out, like, where, where do you want it? I kind of like it more towards the bottom. I don't really know why, because this is, like, kind of weird. See the, like, aesthetic, like, s sticker peel off? Is that aesthetic? <laughs> and then you just stick her on there. I bet you that wasn't even. It's not. Oh, well. Shit. I didn't put it on even, but that's okay. Ta-da! You have your Kindle. Ta-da! Amazing. 